ink in this printer. Hold on. We ran out of ink in the last video and I just got back from shopping at Walmart for like an hour. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to do a haul that I discovered was hidden in the back of my car. Like my hair is a mess. Um, it's like, oh no, there's a hole in the back of my car shopping that I got to show you guys before we can start listing so I can get it out of my car. Um, so I was going to upload the video. I was like, yeah, we'll do this haul real quick. The hubby will be here in like, he said maybe 30 minutes to eat lunch. So I'll hurry and do this haul. Then I was like, well, crap, the mailman should be here any time in the next hour. So maybe we can ship this stuff first and then do the haul. I'll try to really hurry. So putting ink in. I don't have the chat open, FYI, just in case. And if y'all didn't know, you can take these cartridges to your local, um, some of the, uh, oh, office supply stores. They'll give you in-store credit for your empty cartridges. You can get like 10 or $20 per couple months or something like that. It doesn't matter the size or anything. So get it. Okay. Get you some of that free money. We're going backwards today. Let's pull up my Posh mark and print these bad boys out real quick before the mailman gets here. Okay, I'm not connected to the internet. You'll see me. You see me now? I'll open the uh, chat here in just a minute. So download shipping label. Okay, we got paper. I don't want to align the printer. Oh, I hope y'all can't see that address, right? Command print. Prints like that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I keep hearing a truck or something outside. I keep thinking it's my mailman, but it's not. My neighbor's out there doing something. Oh, yeah, it's his birthday. I need to tell him happy birthday. I'll show y'all what I'm about to put in this bag. We I did a video and I already showed y'all, but I'll show you one more time. In just a second. I'm going fast. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Oh crap, that reminds me I need to ship something else. Okay. So this is my St. John piece. It's like super heavy. Um, it's got a couple dog hair pieces on it. Take those off. So I was going to get a piece of tape. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Baby, it's meant to be. Just heard that song on the radio. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> God, there's hair everywhere. <laughs> well, there's hair, and I'm just throwing it all over my floor. I don't care. We sweep pretty often. Mopping? That's another story. Sweeping? Yes. All right, I'm just going to fold it like that. Just going to shove it right up in the bag. My favorite Tyvek bag. I got a house under contract this weekend. So happy. Um, because I had some really bad news on a deal that I had going on. And it just completely like blew up and was like, no, nothing, nada. And then to have to get bad news and then right after get good news is like so awesome. So thankful. 
this. I bought a new stand-up mirror, you guys. I'm going to try to model some of my clothes if I don't look too bad in them. But um, totally going to start modeling for Poshmark my own stuff a little bit. If it fits, right? Okay, so that one's done. I already have the other packages in the mailbox that we shipped this morning, so we're good on those. Just got to do these three, so <clears throat> mark it shipped. <sighs> okay, okay. Next item is the purse, so we're going to... You know how when you change your ink and it wants to reprint out the align paper? I totally just hit the X and it printed without it. Have y'all ever bypassed that? I usually let it print the test page and I totally was like, no. And it worked. This one's going to California. I ship a lot to California. California and New York. Okay, we're going to ship again in the Tyvek right here. Is it upside down? Yeah. Love, love, love this bag. The size 11 by 15. I need to wash my North Face jacket. My uh, Goodwill North Face jacket is like dirty. I've been noticing in videos, I got like funk. See, <laughs> it's all gross. Get in the dirty clothes. Okay. That would be eight ball. Pool. Anybody play eight ball pool? I love that game. Okay, we're shipping the purse. Where is the purse? Oh, it fell on the ground. For shipping this purse, it's a uh, Ferchi. Ferchi, never heard of it. It only sold for eighteen dollars on Poshmark. So yeah, good enough for me. Just gonna kind of fold it in half. It's like the perfect size for the bag. It fits in perfect. Ta-da! Mark that one shipped. Yeah, so I totally did a shipping video today and I ran out of ink and so now we're finishing the shipping. That's why I threw this in. Next item sold for $18 as well. And it's a coat. It's going to San Francisco, California. So this is it, and then we're done. That's it. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't show we sold anything else. This uh, Ivy Jane, is that what it's called? Yeah, embroidered. Get too close to that screen, it gets blurry, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so shake it off. Get any of these fuzz balls off. Just fold it nice and neat. Doesn't have to be perfect like the store. Just fold it as nice as you can. Is that a, that's a dirt stain. 
from like getting run over. It's got pockets. <clears throat> Pretty sure I did wash that because it had a few stains, like some the wheels from a cart, like those wheels ran them over or something. Pretty sure I pre-treated this one and got them all off, but I guess I missed that one, so it'll be okay. This one's also going to ship in the Tyvek because it just fits like a glove. Aw, Fluffy. No! The tape is messed up! Okay. That's real. It's traumatizing when your tape messes up. So I need shipping labels, right? One, two. <clears throat> All right. Bam, bam, ba bam. I think I got too long a tape. Okay, just gonna shove this right in the package. So profit on this is $14.40, take off a dollar, $13.40. I'll take it. Except I see a hair right here. And another one. We're done shipping. Let's do a haul real quick, right? Right? <clears throat> I can like literally hear the mailman coming from the window, so. Okay, I already marked it shipped, I guess. Let's check mom real quick. Like, really, Heather? Yes. Probably won't ship it though if we did sell anything. Okay, good. She hasn't sold anything. We'll just leave the closet up. Okay, y'all ready? Oh, my legs. My legs. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I got my receipts. I just left Walmart, spent probably about a hundred bucks. Um, I was going to get my Goodwill receipt and show you guys what I spent. So 128, I think that's yesterday I spent the 20, 30 bucks. And then the bins, that's Aloha Barbecue. I don't want that. I bet the haul I'm about to show you was from 126. Um, and it, I, it says I spent $26 and then I know it says I spent $26, but then I remember she forgot a pair of shoes on the counter. So I sp spent uh, two more dollars on that. So 28, 29 bucks, who cares? Right. So I have been saving my receipts, uh, for tax purposes and stuff. So hopefully that helps. Okay, first things first, so we can get these out of the way. There were these vintage hats just sitting there, and since they're brand new and, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, they're total vintage. Uh, this one says Long Oval Brands Western World. It's Resistol, self-conforming, so you can steam these and, like, shape them the way you want. So I'll pick that up for... 75 cents a pound, I can totally resell these in my garage sale for five bucks or maybe two or three bucks. I don't care. Um, so there's that one. This one says Luskies. Hold on. <clears throat> there's some fuzz in here. It's not, it's like thread. It looks like hair, but it's not. It's some string somewhere over here. But anyways, uh, that one's Lusky. Wait, what does that say? Resistol, Stagecoach. 
Um, this one's a size seven long oval, whatever. Um, here's another one, just some vintage hats. Um, that one, this thing is broke, the leather. They literally, I, I don't think anyone's worn them. If they have, maybe this one they did. Look, that one looks like it's dirty. I don't know. They look pretty good. So I'll flip them at a garage sale. Thought they'd be fun to have. But I heard, is that me squeaking? Look, guys, I found a Tory Burch replica purse. I've never found one. Well, at least it looks like it, right? So this chick threw this next to me, and I don't even think she saw it. She saw it from right here where it's like a no-brand cheap brown purse. And she threw it to the side, and I flipped it over, and I was like, ooh, wow, I can't believe she just threw that. Well, it's not a real one. It's just a cheap replica purse. So I'll just list this on Poshmark as just a random purse. I might put the letter TB in it, but I won't spell out the words Tory Burch. And if I list this low enough, it'll sell real quick and maybe I won't get flagged on Poshmark. Poshmark will just remove it um, and tell me, hey, don't do that. So if you compete, uh, repeatedly keep doing it, I'm sure they'll kick you off. So yeah, my first uh, replica Tory Burch little satchel like it doesn't even have satchel it didn't have straps or nothing so let's throw it out there so these are the shoes that i paid two dollars for that she forgot to pull in put in my total i think these are going to fit my little son so i got these i hope they fit him they're barely gonna make it um i don't know what size they are they're probably like just from the walmart or like j uh pay less or something. They're not the real Sanux brand, but I thought they were good enough. <clears throat> okay. This is exciting. I'm sorry. I don't have the chat. I can open it up now. Sorry. Let me get it here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got something cool. I'm about to show y'all. Maybe I think it's missing parts though. Oh yeah. It's the chip dog. He's like an electronic dog, but it's just the connections. Okay. Oh, we got all kinds of people in here. Amy, Yard Cell, Trudy, Pickers. Dang! Played Pool A. Yes. Love that game. I'm going live later with a haul, says Gina. Great jacket. We'll teach you to do the labels. <laughs> okay, thanks. Cute shirt. Oh, yeah. I've been shopping right there. Hey, Tiffany, says Yard Cell Lover. Hello, Yard. Okay, I'm caught up. So this was cool. I think uh, somebody put this back and they didn't want it because it's missing the dog. I think it's missing the dog. It's got to be. So we got like instructions for this chip. Hey, there's Nora. She says, I'm here too. Don't forget about me. Okay, so we have chip the uh, smart ball. I have the ball and the stand, but I don't have the doggy. So I wonder if someone got the dog somewhere. This is ages eight and up. So, I don't know. Hopefully, these pieces will be worth it um, to resell. So, I got the charging dock. It's Wow Wee, I guess. I don't know. It's in really good condition. <clears throat> Let me slide my screen over. Hey, I can see myself now. Okay, so here's the smart ball. It's off. I wonder if I turn it on, will it work? Nah, it probably needs to be charged or something. So there's some kind of smart ball. And does this smart ball sit on here? I think it might. Maybe not. Oh, the light just turned on. Did y'all see that? Flinkin' blue. It's gonna have it on. Anyways, it's probably dead. Who knows how long it's been sitting. And then got a charger and we got some kind of gray thing that's never been used it's got the chip watch instructions somebody i bet somebody took the dog and the watch out so let's see what this does i don't think the ball goes on here guys 
There's no, I think the dog goes on here. Yeah, okay, so I don't have all the pieces, obviously, and I knew that when I got it. Um, I was just gonna sell the parts for sure. So I got the instructions. You can sell the parts, yeah, for sure. It's a smart dog. The parts alone will help somebody create some kind of robot or something, you know what I mean? They don't have to have even the dog can create whatever you want with that. I don't know. Some genius, right? <clears throat> okay. I think I have two of these, you guys. It's that willow tree. They're new in the box. Um, I have one that someone got me. A couple manuals are great to have, too. Yeah. So these have never been opened. They don't have a price, luckily. But this one's You Will Always Have My Heart. It's a guy. I don't know what it is. It's just a sentiment printed on the back of ornament. What? Oh, the You Will Always Have My Heart is probably on the back. I don't know. Is this a necklace or what is it? I think it's just a little decor piece. Um, there's Tiffany. Tiffany tried to help me earlier. Somebody, uh, somebody posted the video today. They posted and said, hey, this is how I learned to do my videos. I don't know if it was you, Tiffany, or somebody else. But I clicked on this young girl's video talking about how you got to crop out this and go to Google Docs over here. Nah, -uh. No, thank you. I'll just continue to print on paper. Let me adjust this background here for y'all. Have y'all ever looked at sock how much they sell on eBay, they actually go for pretty good money. So uh, even if you have like a couple and you bundle them up, this guy's pretty clean except for the nose. So I was going to see if I could throw them in the wash because it looked like it's going to come off. Um, I don't know if I should wash this whole body or not. But yeah, I uh, got this guy even though I shouldn't have. <clears throat> I'm pulling stuff out of the long bag. This bag for 75 cents a pound. Stuffed it with a bunch of good smelling stuff or something full of stuff in here. So first thing is brand new. It's a waterproof swim pouch for your cell phone. It's just crinkled up. It's like literally brand new. Uh... I put it, my phone up to it, and I'm pretty sure it'll fit my iPhone 7 Plus. So you can keep your money, or for those who smoke cigarettes, whatever, in there. There's actually one more in here. Man, I need to list this today with you guys. After my husband comes home and eats lunch, then I'll go live and list with you guys later today. Probably in the next hour. Um, I looked up this purse. It's... Uh, like, I don't know, money, money. They sell pretty good on Posh, you guys, and it's in pretty good condition. So I picked it up, 75 cents a pound. It's going to go for over 60 bucks on my Poshmark. <clears throat> it's like this aqua blue, I guess you call that aqua, right? Put him in a pillowcase, throw him in the washer, good to go. Just air dry him. Yes, ma'am, I will do it, just like you said. So there's a purse, pretty heavy. Paid up a couple dollars for it. It's in really good shape, though. That's going to be a good investment return. <clears throat> oh, my gosh, you guys are going to love this. You can tell by my face. And this thing is freaking heavy. Like this. It's like a little Yorkie. I think he's a Yorkie. Yeah. He's like jeweled out. Right? But he's super duper heavy. He's not broke. And look what he does. He opens up to a little keepsake box. And it's magnetic. I just can't get over how freaking heavy this guy is. Like, why are you so heavy? This thing was not cheap. Anybody know what this is or what brand or what it's called? Because it's not stamped. Huge bummer. So that's super cute. 
I got a little people to add to my little collection. I'm pretty sure I don't have her, but I do have horses. The little people horses. I have a bag somewhere right here. Uh, next piece is a wine bottle cork. I have never seen a wine bottle cork like this thing in the a yard sale lover says she's seen those at wholesale shows. I guess the little Yorkie dog, super heavy, and luckily the rhinestones are not missing either. Um, is this rubber? It is. I totally had to bite it. So this cute little Texas logoed grape winery charm thing. I don't even know how to use it, but I assume that goes on the bottle or something. And Love it. <clears throat> they sell a good amount. It's a trinket dog box. Yes, trinket's a good word for it. I didn't even think about that word. Okay, last item in my billabong. This is like a surfing kind of brand. See the waves. Um, super cool bag, you guys. It's high quality. I wish I knew what it was made out of. I need to learn that bag fabric. Okay, what this is, is I don't know, but it's super cool. It's this, like, cocktail purse or party bag, whatever. I really like it, actually. Um, a wine cork, yeah. But, like, the it's so like a jewelry decoration for the wine, you know? Um, look, it's... It's embellished with the little stones. Oh, one is coming off right there. Okay, so it's kind of messed up right there. You can't see it at all. Like, one's popped up for some reason. I don't know. But here's the other side. So it's got this, is that an R? I don't know. Oh, it's a B. Looks like Brighton, right? I don't remember. It's not. It's Bell Bag Badly. Miss Chica? Never freaking heard of it. Haven't even looked it up. A blanket fabric. So there's the logo brand tag in there. Super cute. It's in pretty good condition. Maybe somebody brought it, bought it for prom or something and never used it. Um, now that I'm looking at it, there's a tiny rust spot there that I didn't see. And there's actually a little rust right there that I can wipe off. Super cool. I like it, even though I don't even know glue it down, right? Yeah, something. I should. Smart idea. You may not even be able to tell. Very good. Thank you. Great tip. <clears throat> okay, I'm not even going to show you the bag because I don't like the company, but I have a bag here, like a shopping bag. I'm mad at the company, too. I'm not going to mention the name of it or anything. Um, <laughs> I uh, just filled it with stuff, so I'm going to show you uh, what I got. So inside is this cheap little duffel bag, and I meant to look it up. It says Neil Diamond, and it's just a denim blue bag. I wanted to look up this bag. It's like, what, 50th anniversary? I don't know. It's jeweled out, embellished right there. It's like brand new. I wanted to look up if this is even worth anything, but since it has a famous name on it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll spell out the name for you, Laura Bales. Since it has a famous person's name, Neil Diamond, isn't he a singer, I think? Country singer or something? Um, I went ahead and got it, even if it's not worth reselling i'll still sell it in a garage still or something i do pretty good with bags um oh look there's a tiny hole right there in the denim but that should be okay so we'll see i don't care oh man oh the purse it's uh laura says the bad glee misha spelling is high-end designer sold at like nordstrom's I don't even think I have a Nordstrom's in my town. So, yeah, there's the spelling if anybody cares. B-E, belly, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and then bad glee, mishka, never heard of it. Learn something new every day.
The uh, straps are removable too, so that's a plus. <gasps> no! It's broken! I didn't know it! <laughs> so it had a little ball right there, and there's no ball to help. I mean, it stays closed, like holding it, but it doesn't. So, yeah, it just pops right open. Fail, Heather, fail. Oh, well. Screw it. I'll look up the comps. If it's not worth selling online, I'll just <clears throat> throw it in the garage sale. And if it doesn't sell, I'll redonate it. I won't cry over it. <clears throat> okay, I got just randomly, I pick up books. Y'all know it. The Neil Diamond went for $50-ish on eBay. <laughs> That's the score. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> Mine has a tiny hole, so we'll see. This book is super old, you guys. It's just a uh, little rabbit's loose tooth, and I figured Rylan, my five-year-old, hasn't really lost his teeth yet. So we got this book, even though it's like really long words, uh, plus shipping, I said. Cool. So we got that book. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm kind of happy to show you guys this because I'm not familiar with this at all, okay? Maybe other people are. This is a train, obviously, but I have never seen it, okay? It's this brand Rockenbach. <clears throat> Looks German or something. <clears throat> Excuse me, RR415. When I looked up just this two pieces that pulls up on eBay, Pretty sure they sold for about 35, 40 bucks just for these two pieces alone. So this is the first thing that I found, right? I saw the train. Well, I kept seeing these pieces and I didn't know if it went with it and they do because I found, oh, I think when I looked on eBay or I thought I had instruct, I do have instructions. Check it out. Yeah, I've never heard of this brand. Laura Bales says Rockenbach has sold good for her in the past. So, <clears throat> this is what I found. The little uh, brochure to it, which is cool, because it helped me to know that these little cubes go with it. Because there's a current toy that people make that are just like these cubes, and they don't go with a train at all. So I had a hard time understanding if these went together, but luckily I found the book, so I know it does. Um, so I got, like, everything. I got the, uh, the little guy, which I didn't think he went with this, but look, he's even got the R. I found the little balls, which I had to go back to because when I looked back at the picture, I was like, oh, those balls, there's a bunch of them in the bins at the bottom of the uh, clothes underneath everything. So I went back while I was in line. I was like, hey, will you watch my cart? I went and grabbed a bunch of these balls. I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, I even got the lights and everything. So pretty cool. I think I have some of this stuff too, the little walkway. So I've got a complete set. And... What's not in the picture is this, I guess, charging dock or something. So I even got the uh, charger. So again, when I looked up this, it was worth the $34. I have not looked up to see what um, the whole set go for. Oh, oh yeah. No, you should have seen me, Laura Bales, when I found the Littlest Pet Shop toys, the bins would come out in five feet deep boxes, and I'm 5'1", so if the boxes, no, they were about four, four and a half feet, this white girl was head deep down in the box with like my butt up in the air, digging for the tiniest little pieces to go with my Littlest Pet Shop. Uh, toys. So if you guys ever hear me talk about how I make money every month on YouTube from the clicks, it's from that video. But this white girl worked for those toys. 
I like literally like hurt my hips. The cardboard box is like digging into my thighs while I'm like head first, like literally about to jump up in this cardboard box about this big. Literally, this girl is like head deep. My feet, I'm talking like feet up in the air, like trying to grab all these little toys. It's so ghetto. But they have made me probably in the long run over a thousand dollars. So yeah literally these toys are making me money every month to this day and i sold all those toys for pretty good money over 300 bucks so yeah it was a score um <clears throat> so i don't know why i didn't know what this piece is i don't think it goes to it but since it was in the same vicinity i went ahead and grabbed this weird electrical box but i'm really not thinking it goes with this so let me show you guys. I have a whole bag full of, see this may not go with it either. Taps, taps. Um, there's this, but I have tons and tons of tracks. A lot, a lot. Sorry not to show you all the company name on this bag. Here's another uh, Love Heartfelt and True. Another willow thing. These are super popular. People love these. She was practicing the bl for Black Friday at the bins. This girl does not go to Black Friday shopping ever. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure that some punk threw this in my cart. Like, I don't even know why he threw that in my cart. He was doing that to, to bother me. Like, be funny. So, I don't know what this is. I went ahead and grabbed it. It doesn't weigh a lot. <clears throat> I'm just going to sell it all. Oh, and then, like, I found these. I don't know what this is, but it's optical, like, illusions, actually. Hold on. Oh, this one's broke. We'll throw that one away. There's another one in here. See, look, I even got this cool extra piece that goes with the train. You've been looking for an ear of corn forever? Shush. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I found this. It was pretty cool. I thought it was cool. It's like a, uh, oh, it's a Rubik's magic cube. And like, I've never seen it. It just keeps flipping and flipping and flipping like all different ways. I have no idea how to use it. Oh, yeah, that's too high-tech for me. So, oh, yeah, look. It's like comes all the way out into a freaking, like, flower or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll be happy to let my kiddo play with that. So, my oldest one. So, yeah, I'm going to throw the train back in the thing. So the bag, mm, it's like a, a grown-up version of the fidget spinner. That's funny. Um, so I'd say 75 cents a pound. This is less than five pounds. So luckily I spent under five bucks for that whole train set. So that's cool. Hopefully I should get my money back. All right, the hubby's still not here, and we'll get to do a haul with my clothes. Y'all ready? This is what I got. <clears throat> Something smells good. I got these shoes. Super cute. Real cute. They're Target and they're size six and a half. Total bummer. They're not my size. Really good condition, you guys. <clears throat> OMG. I bought these, except these ones are kind of like furry or like rough looking. Not rough, but they're just, I don't know. Mine are more flat. I spent $50 on a used pair of these on Poshmark. Um, I found a little girl's pair, size Toms. Um, so I had to get these. I was like, yeah, buddy. Uh, these are a youth two size Toms. But again, I bought the same identical color for $50 used on Poshmark about two years ago and I also bought the identical pair in black 
So if you guys do pick, see the Toms, definitely pick them up. The non-Toms may not definitely go for as much, but I'm going to totally make my money back and some on those. I have faith in myself on that. <clears throat> um, okay, these are dirty. They're the Chacos. Chacos? Chacos? They were super popular. I think these are men's. Um, they need to be just wiped, wiped up a little bit. These are expensive shoes. I don't know how much they resell for because I've never found Chacos yet. They were real popular last year, like uh, Birkenstock sandals. Um, so these, I'm excited to look at the resell. And can you shave off those fliggies? <laughs> I don't know. It's like they came that way, but you're right. Maybe I could try to shave it off a little bit. But it's like it came that way, so I don't know. <clears throat> Um, the lady, a lady next to me asked if I wanted these. And of course I said, yes, because my son does like the Nike and Under Armour long socks. Um, I don't know if he'll ever wear these, but maybe when he gets a little bit older and he doesn't care what people think, I don't know. They're cool. So there's that one. She gave me those. And then these two, she had them. She has daughters and I have sons. So yeah, I think it did come that way, Laura. It's, yeah, it's definitely, because let me show you mine. So I got a pair of those two cool socks for my 11-year-old. Oh, my gosh. I went to the gym, and my legs are still sore. They worked, they worked me out. So we're going to throw those socks in the dirty clothes. Oh, yeah. See, mine are different, but they're a little furry, but those kid ones are really furry. They gotta be made that way, because I've had mine for over two years, and I've been wearing them. So, see, they're just made that way, I think. So, yeah, my husband hates these. I think they're super cute. I think it's really cute when girls wear dresses with these. Um, yeah, I paid 50 bucks for these used on Poshmark. I just chunked them. Sure did. Okay, moving along. Um, ooh, I was like, yes, I'm getting this. I don't care if you're maternity or not. So it's this uh, blue embroidered maternity, like, summer dress, I guess. I guess. Whoa, I'm going to fall over. Hold on. Okay. It's size XXL, which I don't think it truly is because it looks more of like a large. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful blue. Whoa. Sorry for the screen there. Target piece, Liz Lange. And you know what? My niece is pregnant with a boy. So maybe I'll give this to her. Yeah. She's not even that big yet. She might be able to pull that off. She's a skinny little thing. Oh, I, I, for some reason I picture my mom's going to like this, but luckily I don't think it'll fit her or me. <laughs> uh, well, it's a large, but it seems like a medium. So this is just Forever 21, but it's a very unique piece. Um, so it's... Man, this thing smells good. Super V cut shows off your beautiful chest area. I don't know the other word for that. Um, so it's kind of, it's super long, super long. It's like a maxi dress, but it then it, it like ruffles right here. The end is a little bit wider. So yeah, I guess you'd say Aztec is something I would use because of this print. Boho. Anybody got anything else? Long, 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 long dress. I don't know. Oh, it ties around the waist if you want to look thinner or skinnier, I guess. This thing smells good. Something smells good. Do I got something in here? Okay, next piece. Super cute. 
is Lucky and Coco. I think this is either Dillard's or it's like a boutique brand. Empire Waste. Nice. I don't never use those words, Gina, ever. Um, because I don't really know what it is. So there's this beautiful, cute blue, like summer skirt. It's um a hundred percent cotton. Y'all know I don't pick up skirts, but if they're pretty, I will. Pretty enough. And it ties also. Spandex waist. So I love this. I would totally wear this too, but I don't wear skirts ever. What's up with my screen? Y'all see that? It's because of color difference, I guess, when I'm holding stuff up, maybe. Next item, I did pick this up for my kiddo, 11-year-old. Is that blue staining? It is. Well, no, it's all over the shirt. I didn't see that. Well, hell, I guess it's going in the garage sale. Y'all see that? Yeah, the discoloring. I don't think it was made that way. It looks really stained in person. I'm here for you. <laughs> That's cute. So, yeah, it looks like it got color washed, a different color. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to give this to Tucker. It's going to go in a garage sale, and I bet somebody else will buy it and not see it like me, right? Bummer. Um, Romper. Oh, my gosh. I pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. This one is also a, like, surfer brand. O'Neal. Extra large. It's 100% cotton. And it's the shorts and the shirt in one. So it's called a romper. It ties around the waist. And it buttons all the way down. Super cool. Love it. They don't sell for a lot of money, but they do always sell. Like 20, 25 bucks, 15 bucks, always. <clears throat> Next piece, there's dad and I'm almost done anyways. Next piece is this skirt that I just liked to resell. Dress Barn. And it's like wool, but it's kind of like Indian-ish kind of, I don't know what you call that. But it's got a super big slit in the back. You're eating the burrito? Oh, man. Okay. Next piece. I think I'm going to see if I can fit this and keep it, maybe. Because the tags are ripped. Dang, it smells good. The tags are ripped out. What the heck's in there? Just a blue shirt. Like so. Cover that butt. Love it. Uh, next one is is coveralls, overalls, whatever you want to call it. I call it both. I don't even know the difference. Um, since overalls have got really popular, they're even coming back more into style still. Um, and you can just wear any shirt you want with these, whether it be classy or just a t-shirt or a bikini top, whatever. This one's uh, Gloria Vanderbilt, so I picked up this one. It's a size large, and I thought it was cool because of the cropped or it's kind of like, I don't know, capri pants almost. So, yeah, picked these up. We'll see how much those sell for. I'll look up the comps. You found Tesco? No, I uh, didn't see it. I even went to the hot sauce area. I went to the next house too and I looked, but I'm, yeah, I missed it. Oh, I told my husband, I said, I found a vintage Ferrari shirt. He was like, oh, I want it. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't fit you. And it's super vintage. You can't have it. You're not going to wear it. Um, bear with me here. For some reason, this piece is like, was in the back of his truck or somebody's truck like it has dog hair all over it i didn't care i have four dogs as is so it's this vintage ferrari shirt and i looked up the ebay and i didn't see any blue ones but i think i saw a bunch of red ones and i see that there's two bleach spots right here 
Um, so this definitely needs to be washed inside it out so I can preserve the logos and stuff. Um, and it's obviously cracking. I don't know if this is worth anything, but I took a chance on it and I went ahead and got it. So it needs to be washed before I can list it. You don't want this, right? You're not going to wear it. It's too small. Okay, next two pieces. Oh, these are cute. That's why I got them. Luckily. I'm all luckily. I um, hope that's not mean. Um, I have big hips, but I don't fit a size 14, luckily. I'm a little bit down from that. So these are White House Black Market. I thought they were really cute for the office or just for summer in general. So maybe you can even wear this to work. Um, if you have a nice classy shirt on. So I picked up these shorts to resell. Last and final piece ever. I did not inspect it, but it's one of those cloth pink baby diapers. And you guys should always pick these up if they're clean, I guess. Mine seem pretty decent. But these cloth diapers cost a fortune, and they even sell used. I rarely find these. So, yeah, found a cloth diaper, and it's neon hot pink, so it's very pretty. All right, guys, that's it. Um, we're going to eat lunch, and then I will uh, <laughs> fix my hair. But um, I will uh, upload another video of listings so we can get some stuff listed because I totally need to list today. Um, that will sell still. The Ferrari, you think? Is that what you were meaning? Okay. Bye, guys. See you soon.